So now, if I want to use the grapple on this, I have to first attach it while I have the cylinder connected in, into the loader. Once I uh, attach the grapple, I then disconnect these lines. They have quick connects on each end. Just remove the lines completely and connect in the grapple lines into there. Um, so the grapple will open and close and actuate. All right, so I ended up going with the HLA grapple. Um, probably if you're watching this video, you have looked at quite a few different grapples and you've probably looked at the Everything Attachments grapple, which is an awesome grapple. Um, the reasons I went with the HLA grapple instead of the Everything Attachments grapple which is an awesome grapple, but uh, I went with HLA for a couple of reasons. The main reason is this is the one that my dealer um, dealt with, is HLA. They were able to roll it into the financing, um, so when I bought the whole unit, 0% for 84 months, um, it, that was a big, a big factor on why I went with this rather than the the everything attachments on top of that this is about a thousand dollars cheaper than the everything attachments unit so that's another pretty big reason um the downside of this versus the everything attachments is it's about 200 pounds heavier than the everything attachments one part of the reason between that is your time spacing here um the distance between here and here uh, don't quote me on this, but on this one, I believe it's five or five and a half inches in between the tines. And on the everything attachments, it's seven and a half or eight inches. So there are more tines on this unit than on the EA one. Um, for picking up small brush and stuff, it does seem to work very well. Um, what I've noticed a little bit, I haven't used it a ton, but what I've noticed a little bit is that we also end up picking up just a lot of dirt um, so maybe if they were spaced a little bit further apart <laughs> I'd end up with less dirt in there that's generally more I get that when I'm in like grass or weeds or something like that you'll pick up that top sod layer grass layer weed layer it'll just line the whole bottom of the grapple um, once you get that top cleared off and you're more in dirt it doesn't really pick it up as much um, I do like how this is kind of armored, up armored. You know, you got protection for your, your grapple cylinders here. Uh, you have a nice protection for, uh, your hydraulic connections there. And, um, you know, it's all plumb nice with, a uh, hose protection stuff in there. There's zerk fittings all over the place on this thing. It's uh, it's very well made. I do have to say this is very well made. Um, so I, I, I would definitely recommend this unit. Like I said, the biggest downside is it's 200 pounds heavier than the everything attachments. But it's $1,000 cheaper. And to be honest, with that tractor and that loader, it has so much lift capacity that that 200 pounds yes it makes a difference but it still has a lot of lift so i'm not uh i don't feel like i'm lacking any when i get a heavy grapple in there you know it's there it's it's heavy so i'm pretty pretty pleased with that even even given the the weight consideration of it so i want to go back to this um hydraulic skid steer quick attach so there's some other youtube videos out there with a electric electric um actuator in here um this is an hla skid steer quick attach you can just order it and put it on there's nothing custom that you're fabricating or figuring out um, just go to HLA's website, 
and look up skid steer quick attach and the hydraulic actuator you could buy the whole unit and it, it, it doesn't come with the the quick fittings the, you know the quick coupler fittings here um, or these hoses maybe it comes with hoses I'm not sure but at any rate my dealer did the hoses and it was my idea to put the quick couplers on there so you could take it right off um, so that's the other nice thing about this particular setup is it's not custom fabricating anything it's just an off-the-shelf ordered item so I'm just picking up the grapple here. I just dropped off the bucket. Just get this lined up. Pick it up here. I'll tip this a little bit forward so maybe you can see the pins on the bottom pop through when I actually this. See those two pins on the bottom? Uh, I don't know if you can really see them, but they kind of pop out like right around here. One. Yeah, they're, they're goldish. Pop up, pop down. Works pretty slick. So now I just gotta drop it down, uh, take off those hydraulic lines, and plug in the, the gravel lines, and we're good to go.